Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Mania. We're just here in what is the first and um, completely new Sonic Mania stage in the game, and that is Studiopolis Zone, which is one of the stages for which they released, um, I'll never forget it, they like released the soundtrack for this, like, um, actually early, like this was one of the ones where they like revealed, oh, this is like the soundtrack. Um, and I remember just being absolutely astounded by what the soundtrack to this stage was. It's just, oh my god, it was like so amazing. Um, and especially like when when you get on to um, the um, Act 2, I love the Act 2 music. I just think as well, there's just so many little things. The background is so intricate, like when you see like all of the, all of the like, um, all of the buildings and things like that. There are so many like cute little references to um to other Sonic games. Like you'll see things like um like you'll see like I would that train that just passed by there said like cope on it. You know, like um I think was it like um in Casino Night Zone you used to see that and stuff like that. And just like the whole like the way that like look at this, like the whole like film camera thing and the little like action director things, like the popcorn machine here. Um, just like the badniks as well, like I love the way the badniks, some of them look like microphones, they're like these little bagworm characters that look like microphones. And then, and then there are like other ones that look like, um, like, uh, little like film reels or whatever that like shoot film out at you and I just think, oh my god, they're so original, like they're just like everything a badnik is supposed to be, it's like this is how bacon is supposed to be. I just think like Studiopolis Zone, it just goes to show, like I think it's like really good proof that well yeah, I mean we can we, we can like remake an old Sonic stage, but you know what, we're damn well able to we're damn well able, we're damn good at making like an original stage as well. It's just oh my god, I love it. Like just all of these little touches, I just think it's so like fully realized, you know that kind of way. I think that's what it is, it's just like really, really like like, they thought of absolutely everything that they, they could have thought of, you know, that kind of way, and more. And, like, this isn't even, like, my favorite original, original stage. Like, there's another one. Like, look at this! Oh my god, I love it! Like, um, there's, like, another one, um, later on, like, one of the other, like, new stages that they have. And that just, like, blew my mind. Like, that just nothing short of blew my mind when I saw it. It was just ridiculous. But yeah, Studiopolis, I love it. It's just like the idea of, okay, this is like Eggman world. It's really kind of like dystopian and futuristic and Eggman is in charge of the uh, of the media and in charge of like television and, and movie studios and stuff like that. And it's just like, I don't know, like it just, it, it just makes sense to me. It's like, oh yeah, if, if Dr. Robotnik did take over the world, well, he would have like... Robotnik TV and like Robotnik Cinema and things. Look, like the eggnog. Why does it say eggnog? This is the boss. This is the first of the hard-boiled heavies we're going to be going up against. And this boss can actually be like the first time I played it. It can actually be a, a little bit tricky, to, to be honest. And it's it's just because like um figuring out like what way the momentum works can really be a challenge. As long as I can survive... No. Okay, well, there's our first death. Um, figuring out, like, what way the momentum actually works can be a real challenge there, because... Um, basically, what you've got to do, you've got to, like, jump on. Now, you have to jump on it, onto, like, the blue missile. And you have to, like, jump over the orange missiles. But sometimes, like, the blue missile will be there, and the orange missiles actually go, like, a little bit, like, in... In, in this instance... Like, the orange missiles actually go, like, a little bit f faster than them, so they, like, go ahead of them. Now, don't worry if you get hit once, because, like, if you do hit the blue missile, then he'll go on, like, another track and get more rings or whatever. But, um, I just love this boss battle. Like, it can be, as I say, it can be a bit of a challenge. But, um, it's, it's so, whoa. It's, it's so um, exciting that that more than makes up for the challenge of it, and cha like I, I actually like the fact that there's a good challenge in it. It's not the hardest boss, like some of the bosses are a little bit challenging, My the hardest boss will, we won't be seeing, in my opinion, in the game, or the most challenging or, or, or um, irritating I suppose is probably like 
a word I'm entitled to use, we won't be seeing for for quite some time. Um, see, sometimes you get like caught momentum-wise there, and you just can't do anything about it. Apparently, I didn't get any rings there on the last go, so. Well, this is the last hit. As you can see, we've been like slowly taking out his bodies here. So now we've just got to take out the big Kahuna burger, this like hard boiled heavy. And that should do it if I can avoid getting hit. There we go. Okay, fab. And just, I don't know what it is about like the colors in this stage. Like, I don't know, the colors and the sounds and everything. It just feels. Um, classic Sega to me, like the colors are like something you would see in like a Streets of Rage game or something like that, with those those kind of like toxic purples and things like that. Okay, Studiopolis Zone Act Two. I adore the music here. Like I like I really like the kind of like jazzy sort of music in um um Studiopolis Zone um Act One. Um. But, like, Studiopolis Zone Act 2, I just love that part when it's like, it, it's all like violent and like. I love it, it's just like so good. Do you know what I haven't like shown off yet, actually? I haven't shown off like the secret move, which is that, like the death drop or whatever it's called. I, I don't know what to call it. Here we have like a little bingo machine here where we jump and then like it lets out like a. Okay, this isn't good. This isn't a good start. Oh no. But I don't know, there's just like, like, what I think is really cool is the fun element. Like, I love this as well, like, going through the wires. There's just like so much, like, just like with Chemical Zone Act 2, it's like everything's so fully realized. Like, they, like, they really got the whole glitzy film studio sort of, um, Thing absolutely down pat. It's like they, 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 it's like they spared no expense. They're like, they're, they're like um John Hammond in in Jurassic Park or something. I feel like that's what it's almost like. No, I didn't want to go over there. I wanted to go over there. Um. Um. But yeah, it's just like it's it's so unbelievable. Like the amount of good thought that went into this, and I just absolutely adore it. Like, I, I, like this. Be warned, this entire LP is probably just going to be, for the most part, especially like the first couple of videos, is probably going to be like one enormous um, gush fest, is what it's going to be. Like, I don't know how I'm going to avoid it being anything else, just because. Like, all the little details, like the way, like, Egg TV, like the way you have Dr. Robotnik there in the background, like, on all the little screens and things like that, it's just, like, how can you not find this absolutely mind-blowing? Because that's what it is, it's mind-blowing is, like, the only word you can use for it. Like, I don't know, like, I, I'm actually at a, a lot, there, there are point, there, there has to be a point where I'm actually at, um, an absolute loss for words. Oh, got me. Yeah, if any enemy is gonna hit you in here, it's gonna be, it's gonna be those stupid, um, bad nicks that, like, throw the film out at you. Okay, I'm, I'm not doing this right for some reason. I'm feeling like we're, like, right up near the end of it as well. Is there, like, a way to go down here, though? Because that seems like a little bit... No, there isn't. Um, but what was I saying even? Oh, that's what you do. You just don't hold anything. Well, I should have known that as like a seasoned Sonic player. If at if first you don't exceed, just don't hold anything at all. I want to get in there. I want to get into the bingo machine. Oh, oh well, no bingo. Oh yes, I did it. I think that's like the first time I've ever got to like go into it twice. Let's see if I can do better this time. 3, 7, 3, times 1. Okay, so I got like, what, 13 rings. Okay, come on, you can get like a little shield. No! Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, as I say, just be warned. Like, the first videos of this especially are probably just going to be gush fest. And I'm pretty sure there's something I can gush about in almost every stage of this game, just because it's... It's just like a feast for the senses, it really is. Like this boss battle even coming up, like I love how it, like for me, this is like a throwback to um, well first of all to, to Sonic and Knuckles because you have like the, 
the um, the little chicken there. Um, secondly, it's like a throwback for me to, um, as far as I'm concerned, to uh, Knuckles Chaotix, because to that one zone, I can never remember what it's called, but there's this one zone, zone where, like, um, every um, Tails can actually hit him, jeez. Okay, this is actually a fun one, because you have to, like, get underneath him and, and make sure you don't get hit by the, the rays of the sun or whatever. That's actually the easiest one. You can get up in, like, a couple of good hits, and he ends up, like, sweating. He's like, oh, it's too hot. <laughs> and then, like, for the rain, you pretty much just need to avoid the, the clouds or whatever that are going to strike lightning. Um, and, like, for the wind, you can actually... I didn't show it there because I didn't get it, but for the wind, you can actually get a hit in on him. If you, um, like there. Oh, that was like the final hit, okay. But like there's that one one stage in Knuckles Chaotix, I can never remember what the name of it is, but like every, um, every boss is like, um, is there, like there's like this television screen and the, and it shows like the boss coming in and whatever. And that's what it's like as well. So even that is like a cute little throwback to, to one of the lesser known Sonic games. Oh, there's like a, a breaking news. There's a news report that Flying Battery Zone is returning. It's just, <laughs> just crazy. Oh my god, another brilliant zone. Here's like throwback to Sonic, um, to Sonic Tree again. It's just, oh my god, like I can't even. As I say, there, there's just like too much that. There's, there's almost like too much that I could say about this game, it's too too much positive that I could say about this game, it's like I can't even begin to even say enough about it. And like, like you'll see in like, like Flying Battery as well, like Flying Battery pretty much looks, um, pretty much looks like the same for like, it, like that, that happens again is that like in Act 1, it's a really like fateful kind of a, a throwback to, to the original level but then like in in act two they really do mix it up it's crazy okay like knuckles if you have knuckles in flying battery zone you can actually just like make a mockery of the place because you can just glide past all of these places you don't even have to mess with all this garbage but like even just like the music and everything like i love the music in flying battery and like the way they do it in the um in the remix in Act Two, in Act Two, it's just another. Um, it's just really good as well. Like they really outdid themselves on on the music in this. I just can't even stress that enough. And you can tell that, like, um, like I, I said it in like the in the first one in the first video. Like this game really is nothing short of a labor of love. Like that's the only way you could probably you could like accurately describe it. Is that it's a labor of love? Because what what else is it other than that? I always get hit by that. I don't know what what I'm supposed to do. Probably because I'm not like building up enough speed or some crap. Um, but yeah, flying battery zone. Obviously, um, one of the like for, funnily enough, like flying. I I was kind of like a bit surprised when they included. Flying Battery Zone, like, do you know when it, it comes to, like, including, like, let's say there was, like, um, some meeting f with all, like, the Sega guys, and they're like, oh, which, which zones do we want to include here, um, and they're like, oh, well, let's, we have to include Green Hill Zone, and they're like, oh, well, we have to include Chemical Plant Zone if we're going to be including a, a zone from Sonic 2, um, and then they're like, I'm not answering that phone, if it's important they'll ring back again. Um, and it's like, oh, if we're including um, a, a zone from from Sonic from Sonic 2, well we have to include Chemical Plant Zone, no doubt about it. And then it's like, oh, from Sonic 3, what will we include? And like, you'd think... It's almost like Sonic Generations all over again because it's I, I was a little bit um, not disappointed but a little bit surprised that that they went for um, Flying Battery Zone because I would have thought oh my god like what about Ice Cap Zone and all of those amazing uh, like what about Ice Cap Zone it's just so such an amazing level amazing music you could do so much with it like can you imagine what kind of mechanics they they 
could have done with um with ice capsule and it just would have been ridiculous. Um and and then it's like, oh well it's flying battery zone. It's almost like um the way they did in, in Sonic Generation. And I think I talked about this before as well. It's like they they didn't include ice cap zone or anything like that in that either. It's like um Sky Think Me Bob zone. And it's like, oh well great. It's like that, that that's a fun stage, sure, but you know, I think like as far as Sonic Tree and Knuckles is concerned, I think Ice Cap is what everyone remembers and what every like the the zone that has such um, a huge following and the soundtrack everyone loves it and things like that as well. Um, so I think like that that's why I was a little bit concerned. I was like, oh great, they're going to be. In First of all, I was like a little bit concerned by the fact that um, I I. I was worried. He almost killed me. That little mouse there. Did you see that? That was ridiculously cool. Um. I am. What am I like going backwards here all of a sudden? I think I am actually. Um. But but I think like well at least I have rings. At least I'm safe inside my mind. Um. Oh yeah, here's the final boss. Well, not the final boss, the Act One boss, which is actually quite um. As Knuckles, this can be like a real um. This can this can be like a bit a bit of a nightmare as well. So so you basically got to like use these guys like these these bad nicks to get up and and jump off them to hit that guy. Which as Knuckles, like even getting that to work just because of the way his jump mechanics work can just be a little bit, uh, a, like, a, a little bit stressful to make the most of it. Like, as, as Sonic, you can just get up there and hit him yourself. It's it's easy as, you know? But it's just, like, one of those bosses where, as Knuckles, you have that extra bit of challenge just because his jump mechanics work against you. Um, but yeah, my concern when I saw, like, like, I saw Studiopolis and I saw, like, they were going to have chemical plant zone, and then I saw they were going to have flying battery zone in this. I was like, oh well, I I for I was like actually concerned. That was like one of the points where I got concerned during the development of this game and um, pre-release or whatever, where I was actually like a little bit worried that oh well, are they just going to put too much emphasis on on classic stages and then like not having that not have enough emphasis on on like new stages and new stuff or whatever. Um, and actually, like, to, I think, I think it is like well balanced. I I think maybe on balance that might be like one of the only things I would quibble about in this game is that there's almost like too there's there's almost like too much emphasis on on it being a throwback and on revisiting like older stages and things like that. I almost think there's almost like too much of that compared to like new stuff because when you see like what they do with the new stuff it's like it's absolutely mind boggling. Do you know? Okay, how am I supposed to get up here now? Tails help me brother. Can I actually like make that jump? No I can't. Well I can if I get up here. And then there we go. Okay. Um but um so so that is like one thing that that well well geez maybe if i just like go oh well i guess that's the solution you just jump blindly somewhere um well at least i got a shield out of the barrack and i suppose that'll protect me from the super hot fire um now i don't anymore all because of that little mouse um but yeah that 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 was my concern and it is something where well okay maybe there is too much of an emphasis on uh, on um, uh, on like revisiting old stages I mean at the end of the day it's it's Sonic Mania it's supposed to be like a new throwback to classic Sonic games not necessarily just to repeating um, all of the levels over and over and over again um, but I think it's like on balance I think the game is so good and like they do so much new stuff with the old stages that I think it's it's really not that much of an issue to that kind of way. I think if they hadn't done as good a job as they did um, 
changing it up in the old stages, like even here in Flying Battery Zone, you have like this this cool like outside um, um, stormy atmosphere, um, which I just think is superb as well. Like I love the way, and I love the way the music changes and things like that. It's just so good. It's so good, so good, so good, so good. Um, but um, I, I think if they hadn't done that. Like, if they hadn't gone ahead and um, made made so many positive reinventions, in, especially in the Act 2s of stages, like, if pretty, if they had, like, just gone ahead and pretty much just done, okay, well, this is, um, this is a Flying Battery Zone, it's going to be exactly like Flying Battery Zone was, and if they'd had, like, the same bosses and stuff like that, then I don't think I would have been as impressed, and I think that would have become, like, a big issue, to be honest. Um, but as it is, they, they, that's not the way it turned out. Maybe there could be, like, another new stage or two, because I do think um, the weight, the, like, the, 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 there is quite a bit of, quite a bit too much emphasis put on, um, Jesus, that was mad. Um, of all the things to kill me in Flying Battery Zone, I never thought it would be those stupid little mice. Um, do you know the way like, you have like these cool little mechanics with the jump that, in the f that you can fall through and stuff like that, but you can also kind of like swim up through it, like it's almost like sand, like you can like you can s manage to stay on top of it, but if you stay in it then you sink down. I just think that's like a cool mechanic as well, it's like, it's like what... It's just very inventive, you know, and you can see, like, in the scrap, it's all, like, bits of, like, goal signs and bits of old badniks and bits of old, like, item boxes and stuff like that. It's just really cool. Okay, so now I've got to be careful that I don't, like, get zapped here. And as I say, like, even things like this, and what you'll see as well, actually, is, um, like, we, we haven't really, we haven't really, um, seen any of it yet. What, what, what you'll see as well in later stages is that what they tend to do is kind of like take like um, a classic stage and and then what they'll, they'll like take a classic stage and they'll combine certain elements of that classic stage with mechanics that are from like a different classic level. Um, like a, what? Okay. <laughs> that was unexpected to say the least. Um, like, they'll take, like, um, a classic level, and then they'll put, like, so it'll look like a level that you remember. But then there'll, like, be so there, there'll be certain stuff that you have to do in a... Where... Can I just, like, kill him? And then, like, I don't have to worry about it? Yeah, that's, like, way easier. <laughs> I never knew that you could do that before. Um... But, um... Which is really cool because it's like, hey, I, I know this mechanic from somewhere, or I know this, I know this like, I know this mechanic from somewhere. What is it? And then all of a sudden, it's, it it becomes like, it becomes clear to you what it is. Now, if Tails could stop like tripping this thing, um, um, which I think is a really good way to go about it as well. It's like, oh well, this is a mechanic from another classic level, but it's not that same one, so that kind of way, and it's not from exactly that level. And this is another cool boss, like, when I saw this, this can actually be, like, a little bit of a challenge as well, if you don't, like, have your wits about you. Because you really have to, he, he'll, like, fake you out is what he'll do. Um, what, what you have to do is you have to get on those, like, these things here, and like knock them into the spikes and if you're the thing is if you're if you get greedy and you try and like hit him like too many times if you're lucky what you can do is 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 like actually just jump into him but you just don't get enough um momentum to really do any like meaningful damage no i thank you tails um <laughs> but um it can be like a little bit of a challenge actually if you're um now I got him twice there that was good because that's actually not that easy to do because usually you have to like well I, I to be honest I think I've like I, I, I've been beaten by this boss enough times <laughs> to have learned that actually it's, it's better to um 
Because what he'll do sometimes is he'll, like, you'll be just about to jump into him and he'll, um, just drop down, like, he'll just drop down out of your way and you go full force into the spike. Um, so actually it's best to just, like, wait your chance and just wait and see what happens and wait for the right moment to hit him. But yeah, that's, um, flying battery zone. And we're going to be moving on to press garden zone, my absolute, one of my favorite stages in the entire game. But, um, we're up to about 25 minutes now, so I'm going to leave that for next time. So thanks for watching, um, part two of Let's Play Sonic Mania. See you next time. Bye now.